Hi, this is Tyler from Second Swing Golf at the 2017 PGA Show. We're extremely fortunate to have with us Mike Johnson, president of Peretti Golf today. We're taking a look at all the Peretti putters here. Peretti makes some amazing putters. You know, I'm holding a Cottonwood 2 in my hand, Mike. Tell us about, you know, what goes into making a Peretti putter. Well, first of all, the Cottonwood 2, this is kind of a cool piece because this is really the first putter that uh, I designed that really kind of got us off the ground. Um, it, we really, when we make a Peretti putter, we focus on the craftsmanship, we focus on the materials that we use. So we, this putter is an 11L17 carbon steel putter. Okay. Um, it, there's a bunch of different carbon steels out there, but we believe that 11L17 is the best carbon steel. It's a little bit softer mm -hmm. than other steels. It's a little bit more expensive, sure. but it just gives that extra soft feel. And I noticed uh, as well that Peretti's generally have a little bit heavier head weight than what you might see in some other manufacturers. They do, they do. What goes into the belief behind that? So we believe that a little a heavier putter is going to even out the stroke just a little bit. You know, if you get something really light, you take it back, it's, it's going to waver a little bit. With the heavier head weight, it doesn't do that. It's just a nice, smooth, even stroke. Okay. How many different head styles do you have in your production line of Peretti putters? In our production line, we have eight models. Okay. Um, but then we've got our, our one-offs that, I mean, it's endless. You know, we can really do anything. Sure. I see you've got a couple of we those one-off pieces yeah, here. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, let's take a look at a couple of the cool pieces that so, you have here. These are kind of some cool show pieces. This is a, it's an 801. It's a new head for us, but we did this one with a machined twist neck. Okay. How um, cool is that? It's a, it's a really cool putter yeah. and then we put a high polish on it you know when we bring these we want people to look at them and just we want them to pop you know we want them to show what we put into these sure. and and the cool thing is like this putter we sell for three thousand dollars this one we sell for eight thousand wow but we put in the same work into our standard line that we put into these putters so you can just you can see the process that we the time that we take to make yeah. these putters is they're pretty That's remarkable. Good. They're amazing looking. Second Swing is fortunate enough to have picked up a few down here at the show that we're going to have back at the stores. You know, one of the things that I noticed on some of those high-end putters are the different materials. Yes. So you're using carbon steel in the production lines, and yep. you've got some stainless steel, and then you've got some German stainless steel uh, higher-end models. Tell us what uh, an end user might uh, be able to discern from the different materials that are used in the putters. Absolutely. So the the, like, like you said, we use carbon steel kind of as our, our standard line. It's got a great feel to it. But there's a lot of people that don't want carbon steel. They want stainless steel, so we go into 303. 303 is a great material, um, and that's why we use it. Now, if you want something that's even a step above that, that's German stainless steel. And basically what it is is it's just a more pure form of stainless steel. You know, a lot, a lot of the steels that we have here in the United States, they take a lot of recycled material and put it into that 303, okay. where in, in Germany it comes out that much more pure, so it gives you a different feel. It's a little bit softer. Um, we also use, I've got this putter here that I'll show you. Check I'll let you that. hold that so it doesn't get scratched up. So this putter is Makume. Uh, it's not a putter that you usually would make. It's not a, a material I guess you'd make a putter out of usually, but we saw this, I, I, I started studying it, and I just really like that the pattern that it gives is called Makume Gane, which means wood grain. And so when you look at this putter, you can see the, the copper, the silver, the gold that they take and they melt it and they, they basically forge it and, and mold it into each other. And that's what gives it this cool wood grain pattern. Yeah, that's so cool that you know, you've got so many different options from the production line to mm -hmm. You know, that eight, ten, twelve thousand dollar putter, yeah. that is awesome. Yeah, thank um, you. Yeah, and you know, the one thing that I'd like to, to mention too is, you know, one of the things that I think stands out is the milling process. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about the different milling patterns, the depths that you're using, and why you think that those are right for Peretti Golf. Okay. So, um, first of all, the milling process, we believe that that's the best way to make a putter. There's, there's two ways you can do it. You can cast a putter, which is when you take hot metal, you pour it into a mold, and then it comes out, and that's what you use. But you'll see a lot of those putters, they use inserts to make it feel better. We don't do that. We take a, a, a block of steel. You know, the putters, they start out, you can see in this cabinet, they start out in a block about like this, and we get two heads out of each piece. So there's a lot of wasted material, but it's, it's the best way to do it. Our tolerances are really, really tight. Um, obviously, with the, with the materials that we use, it gives it the best feel this way. And one of the the ways that we achieve that feel is through the milling on the face. So 
our standard line here, you can see this one's got, it's not a really deep, this is kind of our standard milling, it's not a really deep mill, it's just kind of the standard mill. And then if you look at this one, this one's got a little bit deeper mill sure. to it. So kind of the deeper milling, the deeper milled face gives it a softer feel. And then depending on the material you use, this one's got a fine mill. The reason why we did this with the fine mill is just so you could see the pattern sure. of the material that we use. Sure. So if you want something softer, you get a real deep mill. If you want something with maybe a little higher pitch, go to something with like a fine milled face. Absolutely. You know, Peretti's really have taken the industry by storm over the last several years with their high-end putters. Second Swing is extremely fortunate enough to carry their production line as well as several tour issue putters that we picked up here at the show. Stop into Second Swing Golf and see one of our certified fitters to get fit for your Peretti putter today.